Why, you might ask? Because, and I'll stop doing that, the WDTV Live is a network media player, and the WD Live Wire is a way to more easily network your house. Now, if you want to know what this is, I'll say, in a nutshell, this is Powerline Ethernet. If you already know what Powerline Ethernet is, you probably don't need to keep watching unless you really want to know the specifics of the WD Live Wire. So if you don't know what Powerline Ethernet is, then stay tuned and I'm going to explain the whole thing. So first of all, this is a Powerline AV network kit, so that means you've got up to 200 megabits per second uh, data transfer speeds. So you can stream HD, you can connect up to eight devices. So two adapters by four ports, very cool. On the side, we see some more information. Aha, so they're comparing power line versus Wi-Fi. It is faster and more reliable. Yeah, I'm with them on that one. It is immune to interference, it is easy to install, and they are both protected by encryption. So you've got two adapters with a total of four ports, so that means you can connect up to seven devices and your router all protected with 128-bit encryption. Create high-speed internet connection anywhere in your home without running wires between rooms. Yes, that is the beauty of Powerline. So what you do with a Powerline network adapter, and I'm actually, maybe I'll even do like a quick practical demonstration of this. Okay, we've got an installation CD, which I can't imagine there'd be any use for. Then we have a technical support limited warranty guide. We have WD Livewire, a quick start guide. So step one, plug in. Step two, you win. Aha, the CD is just a user manual. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, so we've got a couple of gigabit ethernet cables. We have one live wire. All right, there we go, four ports on there, as well as a sync button, which I've never actually had to use with any modern power line kit. There's an on-off switch in case you want to turn off your network. And there is an important little bit of instructions. You never plug a power line kit into a power bar. It can cause interference. You want to plug it directly into the wall. Although I have seen them work through power bars before. I mean, for the best results, though, you always want to plug them directly into the wall. And power line does have some other limitations as well. You do need to be... Uh, some houses have sort of... Uh, half of the circuits are on one half and half of the circuits are on the other half and they can't communicate between each other. But even if you've got two power, um, like two wall plugs that are on separate circuits, as long as they're sort of within that same grouping, they'll be able to communicate with each other. So I don't know what WD has done to overcome that. Uh, some of the biggest problems with power line tend to be uh, incompatibility with network adapters or incompatibility with routers. Um, but with a product from WD, I would be surprised to see any of those issues, and I will test it out a little bit, uh, hopefully over the next... Well, my battery died just in time for me to suggest testing it. So uh, off camera, I've gone and hooked up the live wire. So I've uh, got it running. You can see there's the uh, four Ethernet ports on the back of the unit. So I've just plugged into any random one. And then I have a wire running to a wall outlet here in my computer room. And going into my gigabit switch. Okay, and we're going to test its capabilities by going all the way downstairs. Okay. Hi, Rocket. Okay. Here we go. Here's my cat tree. So we're way down to the living room where we will find a TV which is connected to a media PC which is connected to a WD Live wire. Okay, and oh, I actually made a mistake and I plugged it in through a power bar, but um, in my testing it worked anyway. So we're going to fire up Big Buck Bunny, which is a 1080p video clip. A free one. And we're going to demonstrate that it plays 1080p video just nicely. You don't really have to watch the rest of this video because it's just going to be Big Buck Bunny. Here, maybe we can skip around to somewhere where there's slightly faster action. So the uh, bitrate might be a little bit higher. Anyway, flawless playback on 1080p because it is a 200 megabit per second connection. Um, unlike most power line kits these days, which are 
uh, about 100 megabit per second. The 200 megabit per second ones are uh, quite a bit more expensive in most cases, but you can see that it does give you the capability to run full HD video over power line. And I'd imagine we would even get slightly better performance if we were using the, uh, the live wire directly plugged into the wall. You can see skipping around in the video isn't giving us too much success here, but that's okay. All right, why don't we actually go do a file transfer now? So why don't we take that file and just copy it right to the desktop here. Yeah, I guess that's about in line with my expectations. Um, 